Ooh, it's time. We should probably go in. <gasps> Do you want to say that thing that all Star Wars fans say? Do I? Three, two, one. Misa Jaja Pix! Classic Star Wars. So Let's go. They've ruined the franchise! Rest assured, anybody who does happen to be in the theater this weekend for the new Star Wars film and utters the words Jar Jar Binks, even in jest, will be fed to the nearest almighty Sarlacc and be doomed to be devoured in his voluminous belly for thousands of years. I will admit here and now, I bought my tickets a long time ago, reserved seats, excellent smack dab, middle of the theater, showing it in IMAX 3D, real D, smell vision high horsepower seats with the four-wheel drive option, had to do it. Waited in line back in 1977 for the first one, though no one was camping out, no one got married in line, not one of the girls in line had cinnamon buns in her hair, and when it was all over, everyone was excited, hand solo, shot first, couldn't figure out why anyone would leave an exhaust port so exposed, and we're still trying to figure out what in the name of Bantha droppings Leia was doing with that English accent that so conveniently disappeared. But it was all in fun. No one took it seriously. It's a movie. Flash forward 38 years later from that original, and we learn how much the world has changed. Whole day talking about the whole Darth Vader situation, but, really? but oh, you, you could yeah, like the, <laughs> the part where he was totally a black guy whose name basically was James Earl Jones, who, right. and we were, yeah. and but it, while it, he was black, he was terrible and bad and awful, and used to cut off white men's hands and didn't you know actually claim his son. But as soon as he claims his son and goes over to the good, he takes off his mask and he is white. Oh yes, I have many, <laughs> many feelings about that, but I will try to put them over here. <laughs> right next to those errant slices of brain tissue that had managed to ooze out of her cranial docking station as if someone took a lightsaber and went spelunking in her left ear for working parts. You know, it's easy to call Melissa Harris Perry of MSNBC a race baiter, a bad actor, someone who got her gig not because of any real talk or broadcast talent. Easier, though, to just consider her the new clubhouse leader in the Galactically Stupid for 2016 clubhouse, featured on a major cable network. Until we consider there are about six people who consider that TIE fighter wreck a major network, eliciting intelligent conversation above the IQ level of that fish thing I mentioned earlier, but can't say its name. However, thankfully for MHP and the people on our panel, whom we have excellent inside tips, we're forced to be there or they would be strapped into a very uncomfortable chair and forced to watch an edited version of the first three Star Wars films that featured only the acting performance of Hayden Christensen and his thrilling emotional range matched only by Lando Calrissian's faithful assistant. Yeah, go ahead, admit it, you know what I'm talking about. Could any punishment suck the life out of human beings more dastardly than this? She can't win the award outright until we consider comparing Star Wars to the Bible. Please! I mean, look, the Bible talks about darkness and light. This is about evil and good. Darkness and light. This doesn't have anything to do with anything else. This is, goes back to biblical times. It's been discussed in the Bible. Jesus talks about it. It's about darkness and light, evil and good. It has nothing to do. You know, evil people traditionally in the movies always wear dark, and good people are in white. The evil people come up on the black horses. The good people come up on the white horses. Enough, enough, please. Stuff a Minoc in it. Break out a few gaffy sticks. Proceed to feed this pair of pinheads to the nearest rancor. Snap them into some carbonite. Make end tables out of them. Better yet, dress them both up like womp rats. Crank up the T-16s and let's have some fun. And don't let George Lucas within 100 miles this time, okay? No, no, no. But enjoy the movie anyway. Because remember, it's just a movie. Rock on, true believers. I am out of here for the holidays. This is it for 2015. Have a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, all the great things. Happy New Year. See you in January right back here on The Hardline.